good evening everyone welcome to today's dtrs session okay let us begin this session this is class 134 and we'll be discussing thought of the day along with the questions for the day based upon the current affairs so the lead topic that we have chosen for today that is the urban infrastructure development fund let us see what is the thought for the day well the words of wisdom by dalai lama ji what he says that happiness is not something ready-made it comes from your own actions so we quite often come across these words of wisdom from our elders also telling us that you should uh, you should not actually focus on the external elements for happiness find the happiness the peace that uh, that source of happiness should be it should be you it should begin from you within you now how does that happen like if we see we are living in a world that is so chaotic and uh, uh, mostly we have so many goals and we base our happiness based upon those goals if we achieve them then we'll be happy but you need to analyze if that actually makes you happy you are all the time staying in the future worried anxious and you're not you are missing out on all those things in the present that could have led to your happiness right so the external stimuli should not be the source of your happiness rather stay in the present enjoy your journey and how can that happen you have to be self-aware now self-awareness is one of the key elements of the emotional intelligence also and it is said that emotionally intelligent people uh, they are more valuable for any administration also and for any decision making and they also have the harmonious relations so that way it means you will be managing every aspect of, of your life nicely and you'll be happy so dalai lama ji actually refutes the theory of hedonism that uh, focuses on uh, it, it actually justifies the pleasure oriented happiness the short term the instant gratification that is not happiness all right so that way you have to analyze this and in fact this is a life lesson and these kind of philosophy philosophical uh, thoughts are nowadays focused a lot in our essay papers so develop your perspective all right okay now we'll begin with the questions for the day let us start with question number one these are the 10 topics which we have chosen for today so question one is based upon the urban infrastructure development fund so let's see the statement actually it is a new initiative uh, which has been launched by the national housing bank the national housing bank will be managing this fund let us see the statements uh, it is a new fund established to create urban infrastructure in tier one cities so please pay attention is it meant for the tier one cities first of all you should know the concept of uh, the classification of cities based upon their population parameters and the developmental status that is how we classify the cities into various tiers right as far as this initiative is concerned it's not tier one rather it is the tier two and the tier three cities all right now these cities are relatively less uh, they are less populated and they are uh, uh, less developed if we compare them with the tier one cities okay since the uh, they need more attention they need more funds for the development of the infrastructure in the urban centers to cater to the needs of all the people living there to make the cities more livable right uh, they should be climate friendly given that so many changes are happening also the de demographic changes so the funds should be made available to them that is why this initiative is going to help them we'll see how so this so statement one is wrong second the fund is managed by the small industries development bank of india is it sidb right now i have told you it is the national housing bank national housing bank will be managing this fund all right so also study a bit about this developmental bank the national housing bank which was established in 1988 okay so this statement two is wrong third the initial corpus of the fund is twenty thousand. similar question has been asked earlier also by upsc where they have asked what is the initial corpus of that particular fund here you have to note down that corpus is not 20 rather it is 10,000 crores okay so and uh, also keep in mind that this fund will be maintained out of the priority sector lending shortfalls okay 
उसी को यूज करके दिस फंड विल बी इट विल बी डेवलप्ड एंड देन द लोन्स विल बी एक्सटेंडेड टू द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स दे विल फर्दर डिवॉल्व दिस फंड्स टू द अर्बन गवर्नेंस बॉडीज ठीक है ओके दैट्स इनफ अबाउट दिस इनिशिएटिव एंड इट वाज देयर इन न्यूज येस्टरडे इन द पीआईबी हैज द क्वेश्चन ओके लेट अस सी द सेकंड क्वेश्चन व्हिच रिलेट्स टू अ स्पोर्ट्स culture oriented initiative which is khelo india most of you are very aware of it we'll see what is the recent development well statement 1 says the uh, first edition under khelo india was organized in 2018 this is a correct statement you should always know when any particular initiative was uh, it was started right the origins you should know this is correct second para games were included in its first edition now if you have followed the news news was with respect to the para games which will be organized for the disabled people to make them feel more inclusive in their uh, in the society this step has been taken that para games are going to be organized under the khelo india for the first time in the 2023 edition so if you know that information you can eliminate this and two will be a wrong statement third 2023 edition para games included they include badminton shooting cricket and table tennis well cricket is not a part of this rather archery shooting they are part of this there are seven games so please go to, uh, through the explanation provided cricket is wrong hence the statement 3 is wrong 2 and 3 are wrong only one is correct answer will be a so that much is enough for this a question has been asked from the sports earlier also in 2021 <coughs> so you should be aware about some of the major developments at least okay the next question it is with regard to the environment section bakhira wildlife sanctuary which has been in news actually up government has uh, taken the decision to establish a solar power plant uh, within this bird sanctuary so we'll see some of the statements about this it is the largest natural flood plain wetland of madhya pradesh it's not madhya pradesh it is uttar pradesh second it is recognized as a ramsar site yes in 2022 there have been many additions made to the list of the ramsar sites in india uh, so one among those was bakhira wildlife sanctuary also so note down yes it is a ramsar site demanding more attention from the policy makers for its conservation third it is famous for its native tree known as phragmites now if you know very particular fact about this sanctuary like this only then you will be able to mark it correct or wrong well note down that it is yes phragmites are part of this but it is not a tree rather phragmites are the tall perennial grasslands these are the grasslands the grasses the tall grasses which are there in this and uh, they look like bamboo they are somewhat like this and they invade whole of the landscape of this sanctuary and uh, that attracts the migratory species also so the egyptian vulture one of the endangered species that is important fauna associated with the bakhira wildlife sanctuary so we if we see here question may two statements are wrong one is correct so answer will be a theek hai that much is enough for this let us see the next one see if you see the map note down one of the important things we are asked uh, in the uh, upsc examination the prelims is there any particular river or any hill or other geographical feature associated with it so here in case of the bakhira wildlife sanctuary note down it is the river rapti theek hai to ye aap alag se note karke rakh lijiyega for your future reference you can quickly revise next one so what is the next question next question is based upon the confidence uh, consumer confidence index so you have to mark which organization releases this is it ministry of finance the consortium of national banks niti aayog or reserve bank of india it is actually a bi monthly publication by the rbi itself rbi 
assesses the consumer sentiments. The consumer sentiments are captured in terms of their perceptions and their expectations about the present as well as the future status of the Indian economy. So, a query based, a survey based uh, mechanism is uh, included in this and that is enough to know, just know that uh, which organization is associated, okay? Next one, it was recently published, that is why it was in news, okay? Next, that is with respect to the Viksit Bharat at, at 2047 Voice of Youth Initiative. Consider the following statement. It aims to provide a platform for the youth to actively contribute ideas and suggestions towards realizing the vision of a developed India by 2047. Using your common sense, you can actually mark this correct. For 2047, our vision of development, which is to transition into the status of developed country. So yes, the government is willing to take the inputs uh, to uh, keep in uh, to take into account the viewpoint of the youth of the country, their voice, right? What are their views regarding the national priorities, the national action plans, okay, everything will be taken into account and then that holistic uh, framework for the development of the country, the planning, the development will be done. All right. So this is a correct statement. It included workshops for the students below 15 years of age in initiating youth engagement and gathering their perspective. Well, recently workshop was held under this. It was the first workshop, but it was for the college student. It is not for the school going, the uh, students, uh, the youth who are aged 15 years and below. Rather, it is for the college going students. And you should also know what is the definition of youth in India. That is the age group 15 to 59. Uh, sorry. Yeah, 15 to 59. That is the... Um, Okay, so this statement 2 is wrong, statement 1 is correct, so A will be the answer. Let us see what is the next question. Next question is based upon one of the important initiatives recently seen in the news. It has been launched actually by the Niti, uh, the Niti Aayog itself, right? You can judge by the name itself. Aspirational Blocks Program, a similar program we have already uh, we have seen it was the aspirational districts scheme, right? It was brought out by Niti Aayog. Now, even within the districts, there are some underdeveloped blocks which need more attention for their development. Hence, Niti Aayog decided to launch a specific program for that, which is the aspirational blocks. So, it was covered in uh, the PIB. It was launched by the Ministry of HRD. Is it correct? No. It was launched actually by the Niti Aayog. Okay. So this statement one is wrong. It aims to enhance governance and improve the quality of life for citizens in the most challenging and relatively underdeveloped blocks across India. This is actually a correct statement and you should know that uh, it, follow, it is going to follow the same uh, model which has been used in the aspirational districts. And since aspirational districts scheme has been one of the successful initiatives, so, they are going to take some learnings from that and implement them. What was the major model uh, strategy followed in that? The three C's. The convergence means whatever programs and schemes are already existing, they'll be all converged. Okay? Convergence, collaboration, there will be collaboration of all the concerned ministries and stakeholders. And the third one is promoting the competition. So why it was in news recently because this under competition to infuse the spirit of competition, the delta ranking was uh, brought out for the first time for the aspirational blocks. Okay. So remember this framework, the 3C model. So if we see the answer to this question will be A since only one statement is correct here. Okay. Next one. Next is a matching based question so tribes and the state where they live in the first one the koya tribe actually this is framed uh, taking into account one of the steps eco-friendly steps which have been taken by the koya tribe recently koya tribes they are associated with the eastern ghats the area of telangana and andhra pradesh in particular please note down that 
recently this tribe has actually taken a step to uh, refrain using the bison horns in their traditional flute uh, rather they'll be preferring the palm the palm leaf will be used in place of that horn so we should also know a bit about from environment perspective you should know the indian bison most of you are aware it by the name of gaur theek hai to iske bare mein thoda sa you should know that it inhabits the regions of south asia and southeast asia in particular in india if you see it is concentrated in the western ghats prominently and in the himalayas yes it is found there but only in the himalayan foothills not in the higher altitudes theek hai तो ये थोड़ा आपको याद रखना है ऑल्सो रिमेंबर वॉट इज इट्स आई यू सी एन स्टेटस प्लीज कॉमेंट एंड ऑल्सो फाइंड आउट मोर अबाउट दिस ठीक है लेट मी टेल यू दिस इज वेरी मच कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड इन द नीलगिरी बायोस्फियर रिजर्व ठीक है अ सिग्निफिकेंट पॉपुलेशन एग्जिस्ट इन द नीलगिरी बायोस्फियर रिजर्व इन द बंदीपुर एंड अदर एरियाज विच इट कवर्स राइट so let us come back to the question koya tribe himachal pradesh that is actually wrong i have to told you it is associated with telangana and andhra pradesh mankidia tribe is it manipur anybody would you tell me mankidia tribe is it associated with manipur jharkhand actually this is the state of jharkhand theek hai थर्ड ताई खमताई ट्राइब इसके ना नाम से ही थोड़ा जज करने की कोशिश करो बुद्धिस्ट दे आर एक्चुअली बुद्धिस्ट पीपल एंड दे इनहेबिट असम दिस इज करेक्ट ठीक है सो वन वॉज रॉन्ग टू इज रॉन्ग थ्री इज करेक्ट फोर द थारू ट्राइब इज इट दे आर इन दर्दर्न स्टेट ऑफ तमिलनाडु एक्चुअली इट इज रॉन्ग थारू ट्राइब इट वॉज इन न्यूज फॉर द पास टू ईयर्स ऑल्सो इट इज एसोसिएटेड विद द स्टेट ऑफ यूपी एम पी एंड छत्तीसगढ़ ठीक है सिग्निफिकेंट पॉपुलेशन इज कंसेंट्रेटेड इन यूपी इन द शिवालिक रीजन सो इफ यू सी हियर थ्री स्टेटमेंट्स सॉरी द थ्री पेयर्स आर इनकरेक्टली मैच्ड सो योर आंसर विल बी ओनली वन सो दैट इज सफिशिएंट फॉर दिस टॉपिक सी कोया ट्राइब राइड्स द इको फ्रेंडली वेव टू कंजर्व द इंडियन बिजन ऑफ ईस्टर्न गार्ड्स ठीक है दैट इज वाई वी हैव फ्रेम दिस क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर एट अ साइंस एंड टेक डेवलपमेंट सो दिस इज विद रिगार्ड टू द अमृत टेक्नोलॉजी विच वॉज रिसेंटली सीन इन द न्यूज सो वट आर द स्टेटमेंट्स द स्टेटमेंट्स गिवन आर इट इज यूज एज अ मॉनिटरिंग टूल फॉर असेसिंग द हेल्थ ऑफ रामसर साइट्स अंडर अमृत सरोवर इनिशिएटिव नाउ यू कैन मार्क दिस ओनली इफ यू हैव बीन फॉलोइंग द रिसेंट डेवलपमेंट्स फ्रॉम द पी आई बी वेल इट इज नॉट associated with any ramsar site monitoring rather this is a water filtration technology which has been developed by iit madras to filter out the harmful uh, contaminants like the arsenic prominently it is going to remove the arsenic from the drinking water so that it can be made potable right theek hai so to hamara pehla statement galat ho gaya second it is developed by iit bombay no it is iit madras now ab uh, if we see here both statements are not correct so answer will be neither one nor two option d and a bit i want to tell you about the arsenic as the water contaminant you should know it causes the diseases like the black foot the black foot disease theek hai another thing it can also cause cancer it will affect the cognitive development of the babies the children so cognitive development is also affected theek hai and note down that according to who the safe the unsafe limit for the arsenic in drinking water is more than 10 micrograms per liter ठीक है सो दीज दीज आर सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट स्पेसिफिक इंफॉर्मेशन 
which you should know about the arsenic as water pollutant. Next question. See, see in the picture, this is how black food disease will affect. It is affecting the blood vessels. There will be sores, rashes and it is very painful. Okay, next one. Next question is about the green turtles. It was in news because one of the scientific studies have indicated that global warming is going to result into increase in the nesting sites for the nesting habitat for the green turtles in the Mediterranean Sea. Okay? So, in that regard, we will see the statements about green turtle, green sea turtle actually. They are the only herbivore among the different species of turtle. This is actually a correct statement. Majority, the most, most of the turtles, they are carnivores, omnivores. They not only feed on the plants, but majorly they feed on uh, the fish, the frogs, right? The insects, the worms, small animals which are found in the uh, seas and oceans. Okay? However, this turtle, the green sea turtle, it is herbivore. It feeds on the sea grasses and the algae. Okay? Note down that. Next, in the Eastern Pacific, a group of green turtles that have darker shells are called blue turtles by the local community. This is correct. Actually, it is about the physical appearance. The, it is the green color. It is not the green shell. Rather, it is the green uh, cartilage and the uh, cartilage that because of which the name green turtle follows. Okay? Or because of its dark color, it is also called the blue turtle in the Eastern Pacific. Okay? Next, it has been categorized as vulnerable. Is it vulnerable? It is often in news and you should know its IUCN status. It is endangered. Okay? It is hunted for its meat also. Its uh, habitat, uh, habitat degradation and loss. Also because of the uh, growing urbanization, the infrastructure in the coastal areas and the, the bycatch. These are some of the important, uh, these are some of the important threats which are actually posing hurdles to the survival of the green sea turtle. Okay? So, statement 3 is wrong, 2 are correct. So, your answer will, will be B. That is only 2. Okay? Itna sufficient is ke baare mein janne ke liye. And you should pay attention to the specific behavior, the feeding behavior or the habitat range of any, uh, the major particular uh, species which are in news. Okay? See, questions have been asked in general. Some species of turtle are herbivores. If you knew about green sea turtle, you could have marked that statement as correct in the two, 2019 prelims. Chaliye, next. Let us see the last question for the day. That is with regard to syphilis. I am sure uh, almost all of you would be aware with this. It is a sexually transmitted infection. It is not viral disease. Actually, it is a bacterial infection. Okay. So, statement 1 is wrong. It affects the respiratory organs. No, if you knew the basic nature of this disease, it will uh, result into uh, it is actually a sexually transmitted infection that will cause the sores and the rashes in the private parts. Okay. So, this is our wrong statement. Hai. Third, it can also be passed to a baby during pregnancy. This is a correct statement. Even during pregnancy from the mother, it can be transmitted to the child also. Okay. To the uh, infant, right? To the fetus. So, this is also correct. This is correct. So, here only one statement is correct. Answer that follows is only one that is A. Okay. Meanwhile, I want you to know that syphilis, if uh, its symptoms are uh, caught in the early stages through penicillin, the penicillin dose, it can be cured. Okay. So, awareness is also important factor in eliminating the sexually transmitted diseases. Okay. That's all for today. We'll come up with some more questions based upon the current affairs tomorrow. That's it. Thank you.